All right, I like what I've got going over here. And often this will happen is uh, you'll have a trouble spot. You know, you'll have areas you really like and then you'll have trouble spots. For me, it's right in here. This is looking a little muddy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down some white in that area. I'm just going to use this bit of damp paper towel that I have. Pick up some of my titanium white that I laid down on my canvas or on my palette. I'm going to move that up right in here because I really feel like I need something to lay down there. A lot of paint has been lifted. The tooth of the canvas is showing through. It's getting dark and muddy. Now, this doesn't always work, but more often than not, if something's gotten muddy, a little white, a little light, a little zinc white is going to um, help you. Okay, so for that, I'm going to go through real quickly and do some serious blending with all of that. Don't want to move around the paint, I just want to blend it. Okay, so that's pretty much where I want to be. Um, adding some blue over that, working quickly to really get the desired effect. Tiny bit of water, adding some glaze to my Payne's Gray here over on the other side. Um, adding some of that in, back and forth movement in that white. And as that pulls in, you're going to get a completely different color. So this is really where all these different shades and tones come in. We're not using a ton of different colors, but we are creating a lot of different colors by doing these type of techniques, layering adding depth, adding light, etc. Okay. There, that's looking quite a bit better, actually. Add a little more water, a little more glaze. I even pick up a little white there. Add that in. And move up into the spot. I'm going to lay down a little water. Just a little. And work into this area here. Adding that water is going to help me move the paint. It's going to create a lighter layer. And as you can see, now we're getting some almost shades of lavender in this. And I'm not adding any actual lavender, but by mixing the white in there, we're getting some of that. All right, mixing in a little depth. This is just, I'm picking up a little bit here and there, moving through, making sure everything is covered on my, on my canvas in a way that gives me A nice final look. It's not necessarily a paint by numbers type of thing where you know blue here, green here, white here. You can kind of get the idea but that's again why I'm labeling this a little more of an advanced tutorial because you have to have some some ability to understand the colors, uh, your technique, your painting, have a little more confidence level to work in some of these ways, which is just a very free flow painting, which is really the beauty of creating your own art, is just taking a brush to your canvas, 
your colors and making it work, especially with an expressive, abstract, colorful abstract like this. Okay, I'm over here. Put a little water. Any water drops, make sure you smooth those out immediately. Those will cause problems. They will eat. Adding a little water right here. Picking up a little bit of that white and blue that we just mixed with the glaze. Moving over this. A lot of the depth from underneath is reading through. The colors are reading through. 